Hello friends, this video on chemistry in everyday life part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next is the drug target receptors. So they told receptors are nothing but they are also proteins actually. They are also proteins like enzymes. They are crucial to body's communication process. Right? These are very crucial to communication process. And most of these are embedded in the cell membrane. This is a cell, human cell, this cell membrane, they are there. So these proteins, the receptor proteins, they are embedded in the cell membrane in such a way that a small part is out. Small part is projected out of the surface of this cell membrane. Let me see this part zoom version is nothing but this part right you have a receptor here this is nothing but my cell wall this is my cell wall right the red one here is nothing but or i can say the blue one the blue one here is this blue one correct now what happens is if there's a message between two neurons or neurons and muscle that is communicated to some chemical messenger some chemicals so if you see in the whole body the message is nothing but chemicals so this chemicals are nothing called called nothing but chemical messengers the red ones the pink ones are chemical messenger here so these chemical messengers are received at this binding site there is a binding site here Correct. The, you see the shape match, and here also they are selective. Some chemical messengers are for some side, some are for some side. So these chemical messengers are received at this binding site, these receptors, right? And now if you see, this brings a transfer of message into the cell. So message comes here. You see, the message comes into the cell because this part is nothing but my cell part here. See, this is my cell actually. Correct? This is my cell. This is my cell. So the message comes in the cell. Like this. So if you see the beauty of this is the message comes to the cell without chemical being passed to the cell. So this, this is a chemical actually called chemical messenger. Again, the chemical, this chemical just touches this binding side, gives the message and goes off. Chemical is not transferred, but the message is transferred and that is the beauty of the messaging system of the body. Right? And there are so many receptors in the body and they interact with different chemicals because this is, maybe this receptor is for chemical, let's suppose X, there will be some other receptor of uh, this shape and that will be for chemical Y, let's suppose the chemical Y. Right? So the shape match should happen. There are so many chemicals. There are so many receptors. That's why I told these receptors show selectivity for chemical messenger. This receptor is only for this chemical messenger or some two or three of this chemical messenger of this type so that it can fit in. Correct? So I have a chemical messenger and I have and I have these receptors. Right? They are many receptors in the body there are many chemical messengers and the good part is that they are selective right they are different types so what we can do is we can have a drug that will bind to this site right and it will compete with the natural chemical messenger correct with that what will happen is the message it won't get properly. Even if there was a message that there is a pain in the body, the message won't be returned to the cell and the body will not feel the pain. See, the way you feel the pain is, the moment some, something hurts you, there's a message that goes on right from the neurons and it, it comes to the cell wall. And then the messenger tells the cell wall that something is pinching you and the body starts feeling the pain. Right? This is 
to inform body that something is going on and you have to pay attention to fix it. Now, since you already know that okay, something is wrong and you're going to fix it, why should we suffer? So, what we're doing is we are having a drug which is similar to this chemical messenger, and this will compete with this chemical messenger. And this my another drug, which is similar, will compete with this chemical messenger, and it will bind to this receptor and will not pass any message. So with the, what will happen with this is the cells will not know that there is something wrong going on in the body. You won't feel the pain. Correct? So this kind of receptors that binds or this kind of drugs, this kind of drugs that binds to receptors. Drugs that binds to receptors. The natural receptors and with that it inhibits the natural functioning because this message will not be passed down right and inhibit my natural functioning of the communication system actually they are called what antagonist correct these are the drugs which behave exactly like or they compete with the chemical messenger. They are their look and feel is almost same as the chemical messenger. So here we saw this in case of antagonist, the drug has same shape as the chemical messenger, but no message. Right? Same shape but no message. Correct. Sometimes what happens is other way around where the chemical messenger in the body is less and you feel very much deserted, depressed. So there what happens is you need more and more chemical messengers. Correct. So what in that case we do is we again create a chemical messenger it's similar shape right so here they not only have same shape but they also have same message that is they have same chemical they are exact replica of exact replica of of my natural chemical messenger right so they have similar shape they have similar shape and they have everything uh, similar message also. These are called agonists. So please note they are two different types. Antagonist, agonist. Antagonist, they have same shape but no message. So this is used when you are feeling uh, pain and you want to get rid of pain. So it will it will pass on the dummy message, the body will not feel pain. Other scenario, you are feeling very much depressed, you have lack of chemical medicine in the body, right? So in that case, we use this agonists. These are exact replica of chemical messenger. They have similar shape, similar uh, chemical messages also, and your body is more active. Correct? This is called agonist. Antagonist, agonist. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.